Uh, welcome to our video series, uh, which highlights companies and how they have been using technology to, to transform themselves and differentiate themselves in the market. I'd like to introduce uh, my good friend, Ryan Taylor of Paramount Acceptance. Welcome, Ryan. Thank you. Good to be with you. Great. So uh, help us understand a little bit about you, your role at Paramount Acceptance, and then Take us through a little bit of, of who Paramount Acceptance is. Sure, yeah, I uh, right now I am the Vice President of IT at Paramount Acceptance, and uh, I've certainly taken an unconventional path to get there. Uh, I've been with Paramount almost 13 years now, and uh, wow. it's been a bit. Um, my education and background is actually in marketing, and I worked for another software company doing marketing for a couple of years before coming to Paramount and uh, started at Paramount as the HR director, actually, and centralizing that role. Uh, there had not one been one previous to me, and so I uh, had some fun and uh, doing that for a few years and then transitioned to operations uh, while doing some marketing. And that's where I really started to cut my teeth on IT with some data security and compliance projects, taking operational lead uh, with IT on that. Uh, and did that for several years, and now I've been doing uh, IT for about five and a half years, uh, running the IT department all the day to day, um, working with everything from the network to technical support and help desk to uh, product and program man development management. So it's a little bit about me. And then as far as the company goes, we do uh, software and billing solutions for gyms and fitness centers. And uh, it's it's a fairly niche group uh, place to be, but uh, it's enjoyable and brings its own set of challenges as every space does. The company has been around for close to 50 years. So prior to quite technology, a while. <laughs> it wow. has been a while with quite a quite an interesting path for the company as well. Uh, prior to technology, they were uh, Paramount has been a finance uh, company for gyms and fitness centers working with the membership side, doing collections and customer service and those types of things. Today, we are a technology company. We still have a call center uh, to help with customer service for our clients, um, but certainly software is a, is a large part of what we do. So that's, that's quite a journey, both for you and for the organization, from HR to IT and from collections to a technology company. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. So um, a couple of months ago, I read an article that came out of Microsoft and it was right in the beginning and they moved uh, uh, a considerable number of their employees into a work from home model. Then they started analyzing productivity and they found this the, this, this gain in productivity of about 40%. Um, a lot of a lot of factors that relate to that, but uh, taking that same concept uh, to Paramount uh, acceptance, um, have you been able to, or how do you evaluate the impact? Sure, that's a good question. Uh, for IIT specifically, uh, we have that in place, right, with a lot of the, t the tools that I'd mentioned earlier as far as Azure DevOps and and our boards and, and some of those things, we've certainly seen an uptick in productivity. And as I talk to the team and the department and, the, and our people, uh, what they're saying is that the interruptions have been reduced greatly. That <laughs> allows them to focus more on the work. And, and for those that work with developers or programmers, you know that that uninterrupted, uninterrupted time is critical. To being able to produce and, and it's be like productive the time exactly yeah uh so that's been great we had those things in place prior uh it's been fun to see that the other thing actually that i would mention on that note is uh there's been flexibility too right like sometimes our developers need to go be technical support for their kids that are homeschooling <laughs> and so it takes them away from the work that they're doing right sure however what we're seeing is when that happens they'll go jump on later at night when the kids are in bed and and have that focus time to work 
on those projects and deliver that way too. So the flexibility has been great for the team too. It's been, it, they've really enjoyed that. Uh, from the operation standpoint, from the call center, right? Sure. Uh, I mentioned how we started rolling people out in waves that Friday. Uh, it was a long weekend, troubleshooting and getting everybody up to speed Monday morning. Too. Yeah. Um, and certainly that first week, just working out the kinks with everybody to, in this new environment and getting them used to how they work, how they work now. Uh, however, what we did see is as a result of everything closing and gyms and fitness centers closing as well, is our, our call volume increased, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, 70% those first couple weeks after we went home. And so after people started working from home. Uh, so, so, you know, from our, from our peak call volumes while we're in the office, we're seeing an influx of 70% more calls over the, you know, the, the following two or three weeks after we had everybody work from home. Had we been in the office and in talking with uh, our operations department folks, that they don't think they would have been able to answer those calls in the office. However, they were able to maintain, or they were able to answer those, handle the, the call volume, I guess is the best way to say it, right? Of course, hold times are longer. Of course, response times are gonna be longer in that type of situation when you see that big of an influx. However, they were able to get back to them within the day essentially uh and and handle that increased call volume while working from home um certainly it creates its own challenges and that's where teams played a vital role in being able to facilitate the communication still between agents and supervisors and and being sure. able to provide yeah. escalation and support they needed but yeah we have seen that and uh as far as how that's been measured um we have a good dialer system in place that 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 has allowed them to to report to measure and, and handle that um, and measure that that uptick in productivity. Sure. So um, I guess one of the most obvious questions to ask is you pivoted or not you, but Paramount Acceptance pivoted to uh, a technology company. Uh, uh, building platforms for gyms. Gyms have been one of the hardest hit and still closed in uh, at, at a majority. Um, how has that impacted Paramount acceptance? And what are you doing internally to pivot the business? That's a great question. Uh, and it's an ongoing journey that we're exploring, right? Uh, as far as how it's impacted the business, uh, the industry is set up where, uh, you know, as part of the software, payment processing plays into that, right? And, that, and that's how uh, some of the, the funds are made, um, some of the revenue comes in. And so if the gyms and fitness centers aren't open, they're not billing, which means we're not billing. So. We've okay. seen a dramatic drop, obviously, um, in revenue coming in. That's where uh, certainly the the payroll protection loans have have been huge for us. Yeah, being able to take people, um, and it has allowed us to have some more strategic conversations about this. You know, it's interesting. I was I was chatting with the counterpart. Um, in another area of the company about this probably about three or four weeks ago and we talked about okay uh this is this is the core of our business and here we are with it closing down now for us uh particularly those first few weeks the work actually increased dramatically because of the influx of calls sure and because of it needing to provide support to our clients okay We've got to freeze people's accounts, or we've got, you know, we've we've got to come up with a way to be able to suspend billing, depending on what our clients want to do and how they're handling yep. that. And so, so it was all hands on deck uh, between the account management team, client services, and, and IT, um, and then the and the call center, of course, taking taking a lot of those calls. Um, the work increased dramatically for those first few weeks. Um, but here we are today and the calls aren't as high. And uh, well, what are we doing? There's a lot of training happening in the call center. Sure. 
Um, and there's a lot of preparation being done behind the scenes for when these these gyms and, this, and uh, fitness centers start to open back up. We're actually seeing that starting to happen now. Well, not now, but in we we have uh, a client in Georgia that will start doing that here, and uh, some others that will start looking at that next week in the first part of May. Yeah. Um, and then the you know what kind of tools can we proactively provide to help them as they open back up, right? Because the opening is going to be different. It's not like it's not it's not a switch that they're going to flip and doors open up and here we go back in. Um, there are regulations that they're having to abide by and uh, social distancing and limiting that that, uh, that they've they've got to work through. And so, how can we provide that to them? Um, mm. But uh, you know, it's it's changed the way we operate, and from a strategy standpoint, it's allowed us some time to uh, take some time and think about those things. And so, back to the conversation I was having, we talked about okay, this is the core business, and here we are, kind of shutting things off temporarily in that area. What what other things, what other verticals, what other industries could we move into? Uh, while protecting the core that allow us to diversify the business. Sure. And what technologies have we developed uh, in the software over the past couple, couple of years that allow us to do that uh, uh, easily? And so that is an ongoing discussion that we're having um, internally and even with some uh, external folks to, to help us facilitate that and uh, see what other areas we can play in to help diversify the business. Sure. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a brand new world we're living in and trying to get through. It is. So, um, Ryan, I, I really want to thank you for spending this time with us and, to, and, and uh, quite honestly, being transparent about your journey um, and uh, what uh, Paramount Acceptance is trying to do for the community and for your clients. So thank you again. Um, I wish you well and stay safe and, and remain healthy. Thanks, George. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you.